Okay, um, I've been hearing a few problems about this issue. But basically, the fan runs, um, like the car will kind of heat up and then you'll hear the fan start to run for a very long time and it probably wouldn't shut off. Um, what makes it pretty hard on some of these cars is that there is uh, no temperature gauge, which is beautiful. <laughs> probably just get a message saying the car is overheating now there's a way to turn on the <clears throat> a temperature gauge uh, in the dash I guess maybe I'll do a video on that one time but you could actually you could actually put a temperature gauge up there uh, but that's for another day <laughs> uh, but let's just say you're driving the car and then maybe after five or ten minutes the fan comes on ridiculously hard um, these codes you might not get with the regular scanner um, uh, So we have the code here is zero zero three seven nine two um, And you have another code for zero zero three seven seven eight and, and here the fan just came on by the way, so it's gonna keep running and that's basically like a protective uh, setup so the fan will continue to run because it's trying to save you from blowing your engine basically <laughs> so it's basically the DME uh, turning it turning the fan on just as a cautionary measure uh, so you don't jack your things up okay engine cooling system oh the next last code sorry is 003778 which is uh, the engine cooling system pump switched off due to excessive temperature okay um now uh, these codes are usually kind of the same thing i'm trying to scroll with the with the uh, yeah. uh i can probably show you guys the wine diagram most time with this issue it's going to be uh, uh especially if the pump is not coming on and you're unable to turn the pump on a lot of times it's the problem with the pump. Now, when I do these type of jobs, uh, just to save, save uh, you know, myself the headache, I'm just going to change the thermostat, uh, change the pump, you know, make sure all this, you know, there's no leaks or anything like that. Uh, you know, make sure to bleed the system out. And at that point, uh, usually you're good. Unless you have a, another major issue with or well, the, the computer is bad, which really happens. I mean, you know, that's a problem that doesn't happen usually. But sometimes the thermostat can block this off, or you know, it can shut it off. And you know, but once you hear that fan running continuously on this car, you know, it's a problem with that. Let's see if I can scroll up. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, you can see the bottom there. This is very small. I apologize. Let me see if I can. Oh, I think I hate about these, these, uh, yeah, it's very small. Alright, so what we're going to do is, one second here, Let's see if I can zoom in. That's because my eyes are terrible. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to check that fuse in the rear. Definitely going to take a look at all the fuses, make sure that's not the problem. Um, there right, goes the thermostat there. That usually is, that's the problem I'm talking about. Engine cooling temperature sensor. We're going to check all of these one by one before we, you know, jump to any conclusions. Uh, and we know the fan's working <laughs> because we can hear it pumping. Poom, poom, poom. Yeah, guys, I mean, uh, let's see if I'm missing anything here. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, so we got two fuses. Just gonna look into these fuses as well, make sure. Uh, this 50 amp fuse never blows the F7, <laughs> but it can. I'm not gonna <sighs> jump to any conclusions, as I said before. Yes. 
what I'm looking for. All right, so here's the, the pump that I was trying to locate for you guys. I apologize. All right, it's in a beautiful, sexy position. That's it. Your hands are not gonna fit in so sweetly. <laughs> but hey, what you want is a BMW. Um, you know, you're gonna have to change the assembly and just be done with it. That's it, man. It's just you know, once the powers and grounds are there, and you could you try to activate it with your computer. Um, you know, once the fuses are okay, nine out of ten, this is going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, inbox me. Uh, let me know what you think, and you know, subscribe, man. We're gonna we're gonna start throwing these videos out every day, or, you know, every few days at least. Whenever I see a problem, that's that's uh, crazy. I know a few guys have been asking about the. BMW Matronics transmission. I actually have one here, and I think I'm going to do a video on that. If you, if you want me to do a video on that, you know, just give me the heads up. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.